So I've cast all the components I need. They've been sitting around for a couple of days, so they're nice and hard now and easy to handle. I'm going to use my existing setup, which I've got in my firehouse. And what I've done is I've laid some two inch thick ceramic fiber on, on the base, um, which I'm going to cover with tin foil and then put fire bricks over the top. Obviously, I don't want to breathe in too many of those fibers, so we get the tin foil on as quick as we can. Now I've got the split fiber bricks in place. I'm sticking everything together with this fire block. It's a bit like fire clay. It's rated to 1500. It doesn't actually last very well. It goes too brittle, but it's very handy for keeping the components in place while I work with them. Um, so I've got a center column in the middle of the vortex chamber. I've put this two inch center column. The actual vortex chamber is eight inch diameter and the system will be six inch. Um, so I've put the top components, which actually take the diameter from eight to six inch. And it's all set up in place now. And next thing, I'm just going to temporarily fire it all up. I mean, I, you know, I, this, I'm using my existing riser, which has coated ceramic fibre inside, which I'm going to replace. It's so hot, it's jumped into life very quickly, which I was hoping it would do. And considering there's so much water in all the components, I'm surprised how well it's working. I can only hold my phone over the top of there for just a few seconds, but it's obviously spinning very, very well, and it looks a very nice coloured flame. So success so far, 